This is Zangler, the Tesla semi-stalker, and I want to talk about this short video. Um, after studying it closely, there's a lot to unpack. The first thing is, is I see four long-range uh, Tesla semis and three standard-range Tesla semis. But the biggest and the most significant thing I noticed are two of the standard-range versions are loaded on a flatbed on flatbed trailers. The first one in front is hooked up to a Peterbilt. This Peterbilt was purchased by Tesla to avoid the cost of paying for delivery across the country as there isn't a megacharger network yet. I believe that these semis represent a significant event in the semi program. That event is that these are the first deliveries to customers other than PepsiCo. If they are in fact standard range sem Tesla semis, these would be used on day routes where the semi returns to base after each run, similar to how PepsiCo um, manages their fleet. Uh, very, to me, this is a very significant event and a very exciting event. And um, let me know what you think. One of the things I'd really like to know is, you know, we know the list of um, customers includes Walmart Canada, FedEx, and I believe even Budweiser. And um, not sure who these first deliveries might be going to, but let me know what you guys think and why you think it. Thanks, and stand by for more.